Welcome back friends, the ones who always watch. I welcome you back, the new guys, if you're new to the video, welcome to you too. Subscribe and you're gonna see more content. I wanted to share you guys a piece of valuable information slash a secret about expediting. If you guys are currently getting anywhere from 85 cents to a dollar a mile, it depends on the area. Those of you who are guys are driving, I'm talking I'm talking about drivers who are currently doing this already, not people who are in, sitting on the couch thinking they're gonna get into this and make quick money and get rich super fast. I'm talking to current drivers already that are already driving and are on the road right now. If you guys are currently getting anywhere from 85 cents to a dollar a mile for your loaded miles, we try to pay deadhead as well. It happens a lot of times, more times than not, but our drivers know what we do. Anyways, we try to cover deadhead as well and the move to the next biggest town if it's the load's going any, anywhere bad, that all gets covered. So we do our best to take care of the driver. If you guys are currently getting paid 85 cents to a dollar a mile, the secret is don't go hunting for better rates to other companies. Why? When things are bad and slow, things are bad and slow everywhere, and it's all the same at any company you're gonna go to. Yes, some people could be in cahoots with certain brokers. We have a few of those guys. I'm talking about sometimes we can still get decent rates on some loads. But for the most part, market rates right now are anywhere from 85 cents to a buck a mile. That's just how it is. If a semi is driving for $2 a mile, carrying a full load, how do you guys expect to get paid more than, more than that? Or more than a buck a mile for a pallet or two or three or, or even four like I can carry? They don't pay that. There's no contracts currently because every single load gets quoted so when we're bidding loads we give them a rate and they get they get a rate from every other company as well for every other driver in your area so the cheapest driver gets the loan i just don't understand why a lot of drivers are out there you know searching companies trying to find better rates better this better that if you guys are kept busy between 85 cents to a buck a mile on a daily basis those are today's rates and that's very good if you guys are if you guys are the type of people who want a dollar a mile or more and are sitting waiting without a load that's your that that's on you because current rates are lower than a dollar a mile to get a dollar a mile it's very hard unless you're doing a hundred mile run then you should be getting paid 250 somewhere around there for for a hundred mile run should be getting 250 maybe 300 bucks because nobody wants to do those short runs and yes those ones pay more than a 500 700 a thousand 1300 mile load and so on and so forth so the guys that are saying they're getting paid a dollar 85 a mile well you know if you did a 200 mile run for 400 bucks yeah that's normal it's very normal for that or if you did, you know, 50 mile run for $200. Yeah, I understand why you're saying that you're getting paid that much. But anybody in the right mindset knows that if it's a nice long run, 700 miles plus, there's no such rates out there. And if you are getting that, but getting that once every, you're getting a load, one load a week, or one load every two weeks for that rate, well, friends, I'll tell you what, the other drivers that we have, the, the, the runs that we do, will make more money at 85 cents an hour, or will make more money at 85 cents a mile, and we'll be kept every, busy every single day, clear a lot of miles, and put money in our accounts at the end of the week, and it'll be four times more than you'll make with your crazy up high rates. So I just wanted to say that 
you know, if you guys are having an issue, if you're giving, say, 85, 90 cents a mile, those are the rates that, that you know, you're expecting to get, but you're still standing around and not moving, and your dispatch can't get you a load, then that means there's a problem with dispatch. That means maybe they lost, maybe, maybe they have an issue somewhere along the line of, you know, authority issue, uh, you know, Maybe they're in the red about maintenance uh, with weight stations, so on and so forth. Things like that, that could affect, you know, why they're not getting freight. But for the most part, if, you, if you're driving for 85 cents to 90 cents to close to a dollar, somewhere around there, currently, those are the good rates for this market. I'm talking about end of July slash coming up 4th of July weekend just so we're on the same page. This is not a video from, you know, a year ago. This is, you know, June, end of June, 2022. I hope that clears a lot of things up because some drivers are calling around thinking they're gonna switch. Well, all the companies out there, we see 99% of all the loads that everybody else sees, unless it just gets offered to us directly. That's the only time that that load is not seen by us versus another company or another company versus us. So it's all the same. And I just wanted to put it out there that if things are bad, things are bad everywhere. It doesn't matter. Right now when things are slow, competition is high, fuel is high, and the rates are down low. That's how it is everywhere. It doesn't matter what company you're with, who you're working for. That's just the market right now. We'll live through it. We've lived through this before in the past eight and a half years of my career doing this. Honestly, the rates are like a roller coaster. Every couple of years or every year, things are up and down. Things are up and down as, you know, it goes the same for winter slash summertime. Summertime, there's more competition. Wintertime, there's a lot less drivers because they're scared to drive in the snow. So the rates are higher and better up in the northern states. There's a lot of things that go into this, but if you're given, you know, 85 cents, 90 cents a mile and you're not moving anywhere, that's a problem with your dispatch. If you're given those rates and you are moving and you're kept busy every day, slash maybe every other day once in a while, then that's how it is. That's how market is. So don't be thinking that, you know, you're getting ripped off or something like that or somebody's pocketing all your money not true because if we don't get a load we don't make money either we have to get the load and win the load and give it to you to be able to make something hope that clears it up for you guys god bless we'll catch each other on the next episode take care